What's up, everybody? Welcome to another episode of What's Cooking JR. We're in Calgary visiting Chef Scott at the porch. I hear we're gonna clean some octopus, learn how to plate properly, and get some crushable cocktails. I think it's time to enjoy all this at the porch. Let's go. Cool, so this is a Pacific octopus. Um, this one's about 15 pounds. All right, so pot's nice and hot now. You wanna get that nice heat, so when you throw it in there, you're gonna get sear on it, right? Okay. So we'll throw some oil in there. Now the oil's in, you wanna be quick so it doesn't burn the oil, okay? Okay. Let's get the octopus. Now, this is gonna splatter, so make sure when you throw it in, watch your hands, okay? Okay. Yep, start, yep. Put it in there, watch that back, boom. And then you can flip it over now. That's not too bad. You work in a couple of restaurants? No. No? So your red wine's right here. Okay. We'll give it another 20 seconds, and then right. you can deglaze it with that red wine. That's good. So do you see the color on that right there? That was like nice and red. Yeah. Before it was kind of light pink. Uh -huh. That's what we're going for right there. Okay. Yeah. So, can you get it with that red wine in there now? So what we want to look for is you want that tentacle to kind of slowly curl itself up into its arm. Okay. You want to take the tongs and move it around a little bit. You want to give it a flip. It's crazy how it's shriveled up from... Alright, so yeah, you can kind of see now how it's starting to pull up itself. Yeah. yeah, exactly. And now that the, uh, the vinegar, the red wine vinegar, has started to reduce a little bit, once it actually comes down to almost nothing, then we'll add a little bit of water and we'll start the cooking. So what you're going to want to do to clean this guy up is we want to take off some of that membrane right in there. Okay. So if you want to take your knife and just kind of slowly cut right up into there and stop when you get to that point. You want to keep this piece right here for a nice presentation piece mm -hmm. and then we'll carve that up after you take that skin off. Okay. There you go. You should take that little bit off there as well. Yeah, there you go. And that part's still totally edible, it's just that we don't actually do that. So now, we'll start the carving process, okay? So you can cut one piece off right there, one piece off right here. I'm gonna grab one of those bowls right there. Thank you. Yep, you can throw them in, yep. Okay. You can take some of your marinade, that's right there. And then what we, what's in this marinade? So that is capers, mustard, olive oil, garlic, red wine vinegar, pepper. Give that a little, do you want some Yeah, give that a little. Okay. Yeah, let's do a pan like moment. Oh, absolutely. Like a, oh, absolutely just put it at home. So putting it on the grill? Yep. Right. So you can put each piece onto the grill, yep. We'll throw those into that bowl and we'll start the, uh, the next marinating process. So you can throw it up there to keep warm for a sec. And uh, next we're going to take our potatoes okay. and we're going to fry them. So next up we're going to do the second marinade in the octopus. The, the, the finalized one, the finishing one. The finishing um, touches. Absolutely. So you get some Kalamata olives, you can pop those right in there. Boom. Roasted red peppers. Boom. Some papers. How's your tossing skills? Uh, you could do the sauce. No, no, come on. I want to see you like that. Do a little okay. toss like that, okay? There you go. That's not too bad, we'll try to keep it in the bowl. Yeah, as I said, we don't want to lose any of this pressure. Right All right, Tom, you know. Great, so now, we can put that down for one sec. We'll grab the potatoes, we'll start plating up. Okay. What you want so you got a bowl right, right there. The bowl. Yeah. You can put the, potato, the potatoes in the bowl. So, for the plating process, the next step, we're going to put the potatoes down first, then we'll take our octopus marinade right here, spoon, we're going to go little pieces, 
on top of the potatoes. Remembering that this is our presentation piece, so we're gonna use it last on the top, exactly. All right, so yeah, you can put those right on top there. And then we've taken so you two take, yeah, take, yeah, a little bit like that. Yeah, there you go. Just kind of put them on top. You can have fun with it. So you can put like a piece here, 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 kind of all around. Not too bad. I'm happy to do your job. <laughs> Working. Alright, one more right here. Uh, could you set a so fourth a of more. Oh, uh, you can go a little more. Yeah. So maybe a piece here, maybe a piece right there. Kind of fill it up a little bit more. But I couldn't seem to find that spark. I remember when you gave it your all. Climb the walls that I wouldn't let fall. And then so for your last piece, that's pretty good. And then for your last piece, it's right on top. And you can kind of like open it up a little bit. Yeah, exactly. So very last, throw a couple nice little... I can remember Insertions, they're like little lily pads. Okay. So you can take a couple of these guys. What we do is, we do about three or four. On top. We got one right there. We put one there and we one there. Throw a couple on there and pretty it up a little bit. Check out this. <laughs> yeah, that's good. Do one more? I mean, it's your creation, so you decide how many you want to slot. Ah, this three's good luck, right? Yeah? Like octopus, that's not a normal everyday thing, you know? Definitely not. Um, okay. So it's, it's a fun item, it's delicious, it has a lot of different flavor profiles. And uh, it gives people something to try that's outside their comfort zone when they come into the restaurant. I remember all the freeways. So what do we got next? Uh, well, this is another one of our dishes that's new on the menu. Here we're going with the Mediterranean direction. It's uh, from Funesca. It's a classic Italian pasta. It's got olives, capers, shallots, chili flakes, and olive oil. So and then we've got spaghetti. Uh, so if you want to start off. Okay. Uh, a little oil. Yep. So, a little bit of garlic oil in the pan. Uh, all right. oh, you're going to want to get a little bit hotter though. Okay. Is that your wine? Yeah. yeah. There you go. You're good. Let it reduce. You want to cook that wine out, then. Oh, okay. Yeah, we, we want to really cook that wine out. We don't want that wine flavor in there. And our, our food and Esca sauce that we have, yeah. it's um, it's already ready to roll. Oh, ooh. <laughs> yeah. Prawns are getting crazy. Yeah, yeah. Right. <laughs> All right, I think okay, they're so good. Next, so next, we're gonna take our food sauce. Food sauce. Yeah. So um, in here, yeah. we got shallots, capers, chili flakes, tomatoes. Uh, and olive oil. Okay. We'll finish with some uh, basil. All right. Here we go. A little bit of water. Now you want to let that all come come together. While that's coming together, yep. you take your pasta and throw it in the water to let it warm up. So the consistency you want now is like a nice tomato sauce consistency. Something that, uh, not too, not too loose. Yeah. You're pretty much there. You also want to make sure the fronds aren't going to overcook too much. So I think you're pretty much there. You can pull it off the side. Yeah. Take your pasta down. Yeah. That's pretty hot. Yeah. Watch out. There we go. And pass it in. Yeah, watch out for the water, don't put water in there. That's good. There you go. Alright, let's toss it, fam. Oh, man. You can use these guys too if you want a little bit. There you go. Yeah, put it both. <laughs> so once we have it all nice and brought together, we're ready to play. Now do the So, yeah, a little bit of pasta in the middle first. Yep. And 
you can keep putting a little pasta a little, a little bit into the middle. Yeah. Then once you get to the end of all the pasta, and you can put your prawns around it, put that nice sauce right on top of it. Ah. Teaching us proper flaking skills for that. Close, last little pasta drip. Now we go on prawns and yep. sauce. Yep, prawns and sauce. Alright, yeah, but now you can give it a little tilt right on top there. I like to give it a little bit of a wipe around the bowl. Yeah. Give it a little clean up, clean up. Yeah. Finish it with a little bit of fresh parsley. So what do we have here, Joey? Uh, we have the sauce, the the sauce, the sauce, the sauce, the sauce, It is good. Yeah. Love this. Now, I like the lids too. We got we got some of the lids. The lids are pretty cool. Yeah. That's so that you can stir them and mix this, mix them up. Thank you. Smoke into the drink. The heavy soul is a uh, uh, Jose Cuervo based drink. Uh, the bumblebee is a uh, rum based drink, and the plate or the sunny side the sunny side is a gin based drink. Okay. So I say that for times three times. Four. <laughs> so what do we have, Justin? What did you make? The octopus, and then we got the puttanesca in here. Puttanesca looks wonderful. What did yeah. you? What are, what are all the ingredients? What do you find different than a normal puttanesca that you would see in another restaurant than the way Scott did, did ours in the Well, West? with the well, first of all, when we did the first of all the healthy prawns, we had the healthy prawns here. Then with the garlic oil, you don't see that many places. Most people don't put the garlic first, let it slow sear. So I like the garlic oil being infused, so you got that flavor off junk. And then with the puttanesca sauce, it was nice and thick and heavy, and then we cooked it down. So I think cooking it down really got that flavor into the shrimp, into the pasta, and then also the way we plated it. Like I said, when we were doing the video in the kitchen, I was like, oh, we're getting the plating skills taught. Plating it from the middle, then topping it with the sauce really makes everything come together well. So I'm excited for you guys to try. Now, Scott, well, I want to thank you very much for coming in and cooking with us today. That was a lot of fun. Um, that was my first yeah. experience doing that here in the porch. Yeah, and uh, anytime you want to come back, I would love to have you again. All right. Absolutely. We'll be yeah. back. Yeah, for sure. We'll be back when the weather is nice night. out. Yeah. Date night. Yeah. Maybe next time we can have a drink at the Alma Swings. Okay. Yeah, yeah they're all back. I tested. Yeah. All right. Cheers, thank you. Don't want to get buffalo. Yeah, that's good. You need to come get this one at the porch, old fashioned. Thank you to the porch and Chef Scott for having me. I'm gonna enjoy one of these crushable cocktails. Time for you guys to leave.